Let's take a look at the updates to the suite feature in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Here we have a composite curve which is made up of some 3D sketches and the helix. Now I want to send a circular profile along the length of this curve using the sweep feature. So in previous releases I'd have had to create a plane at the end point to one of these curves, sketch my circle on them and then sweep the circle along the curve. Now if I go into my sweep command I have an option in there called circular profile. All this need, needs from me is to define a diameter value for the circle and then I just simply select the sweep part and the feature is complete. As you can see in the tree, the curves are no longer absorbed by the sweep feature. This actually does have a bearing on the way the software beh behaves. Now if I go in and edit my 3D sketch, you can see that I have no tangency between this line and the helix spiral. In previous releases, if I wanted to add that tangency in, I'd have effectively had to delete the sweep feature out, then adjusted the sketch, added the tangency in, and then recreated it. This is because the curve was absorbed by the feature. Now it's not, I can just select the helix, select the line, and create the tangency that I'm after. Another example, another example of the sweep feature is within this part here. Here we have a couple of lines going through the solid body. Now if I want to put holes through those lines, I can just activate my swept cut command. Again, choose circular profile, define my diameter, and then select the line that I want the sweep to run along, like so. I'll do the same again on this line, but perhaps this time with a different diameter. And there we have our holes. In the last example here, we have a rectangular profile which is sitting um, in the middle of this path. Now I want to sweep this, so if I go to my sweep command, I select the profile, select the path, and that's pretty much what you would expect to happen in SOLIDWORKS 2015 and previous. It would sweep in one direction from that profile sketch um, and you never really had a choice of the direction it swept in. It would depend on the normal two direction of the plane. In this release, you can see that I have three additional buttons within the property manager. I can sweep it in either direction or I can sweep it bi-directionally. Because I'm sweeping bi-directionally, I have additional options in here. So if I select that I want a twist, you can see that I have two directional boxes and I can toggle the direction of each one to get the desired result. And there is the finished model. So just to summarize, so just to summarize what we've seen there, We can now sweep with an automatic circular profile. We can sweep in both directions and our reference curves are no longer absorbed by their parent. We switch to Ed for patterns.